Today I'm going to be modding the PS1 Classic using the power mod. The reason I'm doing the power mod method is so that I can get enough power out of this USB port to my USB device. I'm going to be attempting to mod the PS1 Classic with this external Western Digital. This is, I believe, 512 megabytes, gigabytes, which it should be enough. Uh, space for all the games we're going to be adding. So I'm going to start off by taking apart the PS1 Classic by removing these four screws. Now that we've taken the bottom cover off, we have one screw here there and there and here so we have four more screws to remove all right now that the screws are gone I'm going to gently remove the motherboard And out comes the motherboard. Now, we still have this heat shield or heat sink. So I'm going to just try to remove that. And there we go. So it was getting stuck with the thermal paste. The chips are very, very tiny. Uh, way tinier than I thought and I don't have a good tip for soldering iron, but it's the two sides That Are closest to the capacitor so it's That point and that little point So on this side is Right there. I'll try to zoom in with the camera, but I don't know if it's gonna focus, but Okay, so right there, those two points right there need to be bridged. And looking at the other side again with the zoom, it'll actually be the right, those two points on that side right there. So those need to be bridged, soldered together. And just so you guys can see my soldering iron tip, it, it sucks. But, um,. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to plug this in, wait for it to get hot, and then I'm going to get some solder. Put it on top of the soldering iron. And just use the tip to Let me zoom in again. With the solder being on the tip, I'll just gently touch those two sides and Hopefully, I, uh, I can bridge those two points and not mess this up. Before I actually put the solder on, I'm just going to use my flux pin and try to just swipe over the right edge. Actually, the bottom two edges so that the solder can instantly find its way to those two points. As well as use some flux with the uh, rosin core. So once again, before I put the solder on here, it's the two points that are facing the capacitor and then on this side it's the two right points right there facing the capacitor
hopefully you can see what I'm going to do here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just apply, I know my camera's out of focus, so I'm going to apply the solder to the soldering iron and make sure I get some solder on there. Okay, that's as close I'm going to hold it to the camera, but I'm just going to touch those two points and see if they, uh, they bridge. So I managed to put solder on there and I'm going to tap that, get rid of the excess solder, and look at my board again. And uh, the solder is on there. And it does appear to be bridged. So it looks like it bridged. Now I gotta do the other side, which is a little more difficult because the fuse is so close to that capacitor. It doesn't give you room to put that solder on there. So same technique just put solder over the two points on that capacitor so here we go I'm trying to tilt this a certain way where I could just kind of glide over with a soldering iron and I think I got it alright so it looks like the points are bridged I'm gonna try this out and put it back into the uh, PlayStation and see if the mod actually worked. I'm going to place that over and then put this back onto the case. So you got to have the ports on first before you put it into the case. So I'm just going to leave it like this and test it out. 